Good evening, this is Bell Geode, and we are back with some more Skyrim VR, and we are back in Soul's time, in our hotel room, if you can call it that. This is like an underground hotel here. Never seen anything like this in Skyrim, but I guess it's probably better than the one small room that we usually get in Just a wooden cabin. I saw a musician in the street playing a flute. It was beautiful. Why must you always interrupt me, Tanya? It never fails. As soon as I start doing an intro, you start talking. Why? Your sister is a brat. Why am I telling you, Allie? You're a brat, too. All right, so we've got some stuff to do. Uh, we need to find this Temple of Mirak. Um, let me open up the map here. And, of course... It's still nightfall. I don't know why I bother showing you the map at night. Because, yeah, you can't really see anything. But, um, this is the island that we're on. It's a rather small island, but by the same token, it's also a pretty big island. Like, they've managed to pack a lot of stuff in here. This is the Temple of Mirak. Now, it's saying that I've already been there because when I uh, decided to go to sleep here in this inn... It automatically put me there, which obviously is not what I was looking for. We're going to do this the old-fashioned way. So we're going to leave from the inn with the girls, not by myself. And we're going to make our way to the Temple of Mirak. But of course, yeah, we are right here. And that's the earth stone that we checked out the last time. So we're going to do some exploration first and foremost. All right, girls, you ready? Everybody eating all that good jazz? Okay, I think we're all ready. Let's go. All right. Morning, sir. So, yeah. I'm still not quite sure how I feel about Solstheim. I mean, it seems like it's a nice place. It's just a little weird. It's a little weirder than I'm used to. But, eh, whatevs. We'll make it work. All right. Beautiful morning here, and what in the hell is that? Oh, that's from the map. That is from the map. Okay, so at least now we can actually see the map a little bit better. Uh, current location is B, so go ahead and click that. Okay, that did not get rid of it, but you know what? I don't care. Do you care? I certainly don't care. All right, let's head out. So there is Ye old Volcano. I still don't know if this volcano is going to factor into our questing. I would hope not. The last thing I want to do is to drop dead because there's a whole bunch of ash falling on me. But I guess we'll find out eventually. Morning, guards. I'm assuming this is the exit to the city here. So, yeah. Wow, look at that sunrise. It's actually kind of beautiful. What in the hell? Holy crap. That looks like one of the guards getting attacked. Okay, girls. It's time to spring into action. I hope you're all ready. Let's do this. Yeah, he is not having fun. He is not having fun at all. Look at that. He's getting ganged up on by those ash spawn things that we met in the last episode. All right. We are here to help, sir. Hang in there. I don't think he's doing too good. Alright. Time for us to get to work. And there goes Tanya. Love it when Tanya gets into the thick of it. Because she literally cannot fail. Well, unless those guys were focusing their attacks on her like they did in the last episode. Um... You don't mind if I loot your dead friend here, do you? Just need his money. And I guess his elven arrows. Well, cool. Not bad. Alright. Let's see what these guys have. Declaration of War. What the hell is that? I should probably read that, huh? Raven Rock Stronghold, my calls for the unconditional surrender of your forces and an immediate cessation of all hostilities have been ignored numerous times. 
I therefore have no choice but to assume your purpose on Solstheim is hostile and to treat Ravenrock Stronghold as an enemy of the Empire. I warn you, any attempt to breach Fort Frostmoth will be met with an equal level of aggression. I will do everything in my power to wipe you and your forces off the face of Tamriel. There will be no further communications between us. Seriously? What in the heck is that all about? And why was a ash spawn carrying it? We'll talk to the dude in a second here because I'm sure he's probably going to know something about it. Well, hello, Ali. I'm glad you could join us. All right, put your weapons away, girls. Let's uh, let's make nice, nice with this guy here. He looks like he's been through hell. Hi. I wasn't sure I'd make it off this farm alive. I don't blame you. I could have said the same for my man here. Yeah, he's not looking so good. All right, what were those things? Even though I already know. Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ash Spawn. Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. Hmm. And how did that bring you to this old farm? I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. Hmm. Well, I'll be glad to lend you a hand. Why not? Good. I can use all the help I can get. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind. And I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. Very well. Where do I begin? We were searching the farm when the Ash Spawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. Funny you mention that. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I was just going to tell him about this note. This is strange. The note says it's from General Falk's carriers. But that's impossible. Why is it impossible? Well, Carius was the Imperial Garrison Commander at Fort Frostmouth, but he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain leveled the place. I'm sorry, what? There's no way he could still be alive. Unless he's a zombie. Uh, what do you want me to do about this? If General Carius is still alive, there must be something keeping him that way. I need you to head out to Fort Frostmouth and check it out. I'm going to head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. Consider it done, buddy. I will do this. All right. Be careful. This General Curious sounds out of his mind. Yeah, I would imagine so if he's sending Ash Spawn after us. Okay, girls. Well, we have our orders. We need to find this Fort Frostmuth, wherever it is, and hopefully it's along the way to that Temple of Mirak where we need to heading where we need to head anyway. All right. So this way we shall go. Uh, I should probably set up the quest. That way it'll point me in the right direction. All right. Um, let's see. Dragonborn, reach Temple of Mirak. Okay. Miscellaneous. This is a miscellaneous quest, right? It doesn't really say what we're supposed to do. Oh, wait. No, it's a special mission. March of the Dead. Okay, that makes sense now. All right, so we'll highlight this. We'll turn this off for now, because now that we have Temple of Mirak on the map, all we have to do is just point ourselves towards it, and we should be able to get there. But I want to kind of do this, because this is curious, and especially with those Ash Spawn invading like they were in the last episode, yeah, we're probably going to want to do something about that. All right, some kind of boat over there. I don't want to get sidetracked just yet. What in the hell are you? What was that? Some kind of giant roach. I ain't seen roaches that big since I was in Florida. At least the sucker didn't fly. All right, keep your eyes peeled, girls. Playtime's over. I wonder if they come in packs. This island may not be 100% stable. Alright, whoa, 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 there's another one. Holy crap, there were two of them. Damn, Tanya, what would I do without you? I may bitch at you often, but you know what? I will never sell Tanya short. 
She's always looking out for me. You are one in a million, girl. Oh, incidentally, in between episodes, I discovered, you see that thing over there floating over the water? That is a niche. We'll see if we can get a closer look at one if we happen to pass by one that's over the land. Actually, there's one right there. Cool beans. So yeah, that is a niche. We'll get up close and personal. We'll try not to attack them. I don't believe they're hostile. I think they're actually pretty docile. But we'll take a look. And they make this weird sound too. You hear that? Break it down now. It's so cool. I like them. They're cute. In a weird sort of way. And apparently they don't like getting drunk either. So there is that. All right. Oh, there's some kind of cabin down here. Let's go check this out. Now we will get our weapons out. Hmm. I don't see anything down here. Oh, there they are. Holy crap, Ally. You know, you can attack them easier if you're not standing on top of them. All right, that one dead. Did we get the other one? Where'd he go? Oh, Tanya's on the case. Tanya, I'm coming. Holy crap, Ali did not waste time. She just fireballed him to hell. Wow. I don't know where Gita was in all of that. Oh, there you are. But Ali, I gotta say, that was pretty damn impressive. You look like you could use a heal, so let me take care of that for you. A healing spell? Yeah. Are you a priest? N no, I'm not a priest. Not not in the least. Don't you have healing skills? I'm pretty sure you do. Alright, can you get out of my way, please? Dear Lord, woman, get out the way! This is what I get for healing her. Now she's like stuck in the doorway. Are we going to do this the entire time? Might as well heal you up to full. There we go. Alright, well, if you're going to block the door, I'm going to go around the other way. There's more than one way to get into a house. Alright, did I loot this? I did not. I did now. Oh, look at that. Some kind of weird trap door. Uh, I only want the gold, so that's fine. All right, girls, where are you? Oh, look at that. There's a loot over here. Oh, hi, Tanya. Let me switch back to the sword. All right, I'm thinking we should probably go down this place, so... Here we go. Here goes nothing. Alright, girls. Get into stealth mode. Where the hell is Allie? Oh, she's still upstairs, isn't she? Alright, well, you know what? The two of us, or the three of us, can handle this. What is all this? I can, like, barely see this stuff. Hmm. Oh, there's a dude. There's a dude. Oh, yeah, son. Sorry, Tanya. Didn't mean to whack you there. Did you get him? Good girl. That is a reaver. Okay, so clearly some kind of pirate type. And it looks like these guys were loaded for bear, too. A letter? 
Prodolf, light and strength. I feel your words are not your own, and I worry dearly for your health. I beg of you, please depart that blasted isle and return to solitude at once. My nights have been almost impossible to bear without you. To lose you would be the death of me. My love, if you do not return soon, I will come for you. Um, yeah, I wonder how that worked out. Oh, this is beef. No, it's not. It's horse haunch. Why did I just take the wooden plate? I have no idea. Alright, there's nothing over there. There's a whole bunch of books all over the place, though. I like picking up the books because sometimes you will get, like, uh, extra experience or skills or whatever from them. Plus, I can always put them on my bookshelf back in Bree's home. So sometimes it's worth it. If we get too heavy, that's usually the first thing I drop is the books. All these books and, like, nothing gives me any skills. Well, that was a waste of time. What is this? Rodolph's Journal. Uh, we'll take it. We'll read it later. I know there was a second guy in here. I don't know where he went. But I'll take all of that. Alright. I think that's about everything in here. So let's go ahead and head back upstairs and find Allie. Oh, here's the other guy. All right, cool beans, we're out. Allie, where are you? Are you still standing out the front? Why are you still standing out the front? What's wrong, girl? Are you having issues? You know, I can fix your issues. I happen to have just the spell for that. It's called Leader's Teleportation, and it goes something like this. There we go. All right, shall we continue on? I do believe this may be our fort, so you know what? Let's go ahead and save real quick. Yeah, always a good idea to save before we start going to a new area. Look, I can see one of them ash spawn now. All right, let's go into stealth. Everybody with me? All three of you? Yes, good. Alright, let's make our way down here. Oh, I see this guy. Yep, there he is. Look at him. Alright, that's our first target, girls. Take his butt out. He still can't see me according to my stealth meter there. But that's about to change. Wow, well, he didn't last very long. But where there's one, there's more. Stay sharp, girls. Stay sharp. Looks like a sunken vessel over there. It's not easy being a woman in Skyrim. Yeah, so I've been told, Tanya. You seem to be doing a very good job, however. Always good to have your sisters as well. Sisters make everything better. I say that, not having a sister in real life. Elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. Not now, Tanya. Not now. Let's uh, focus on that guy. Oh, good shot, Gita. Ha! You can't touch me, sucker! Oh, you were about to die. Alright, good deal. Yeah, we'll take your goodies. Uh, Gito, you realize you're being attacked, right? 
Okay, um, what's the best way to get out of here? I guess I can go down. No. There's no point going down. No idea what this is, but I'll take it. I'll take everything. We'll check it out later. Alright, let me go rescue the girls. Gita, are you okay? You are clearly not okay. Eh, we'll just stand here and blast him. Alright, I think Tanya got him. Let's go. Okay. So, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Lord Frostmoth will never fall. Long live the Empire! What are you talking about, long live the Empire? Who the hell are you, Palpatine? And... Crap, I'm out of, uh, Magicka. I need more Magicka. Alright, well, while the girls are doing their thing, I'm going to go Extra Magicka and Minor Magicka. Might as well heal up as well. Are you okay, Allie? You are clearly not okay. Alright, let me fix you up, girl. A healing spell? Yes. Are you a priest? No. How many times are you gonna ask me that, girl? Next time I'm just gonna leave you unhealed. Gita, where are you at? I know you took some damage. Are you okay? You never say thank you. Why? All right, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Tanya, at least, says thank you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, so there was a guy up here, I think. Yeah, I see the ash pile. So we'll go ahead and grab him. Take that. I love the fact that they're giving me, like, ores and so on, because you never know, I could craft with that stuff. And look at that. There's a whole bunch of giant mushrooms or something over there. That's kind of cool. This island just gets weirder and weirder by the minute. All right, I want to go in that tower before we go in there. You ain't lying, girl. You ain't lying. Can I use this? I cannot. Okay, no nefarious beings up here. I don't see any down there, Stay so it looks like we just need to go there. Oh, I know exactly what's out there, Gita. That's the problem. And it all wants to kill us. Would you look at that? Yes, I saw it. Thank you. I'm telling you, she's like a five-year-old. Gets excited over the smallest things. And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, because it's Tanya. She's so adorable when she does that. But us, on the other hand, yeah, we've got some work cut out for us. So I'm going to save right now before we go in there. Thank you, Gita. I appreciate you bumping me. All right, are you all ready? I think you're all ready. Okay, let's go. Oh boy, we've got company. Tanya, watch out behind you. Alright, cool. I think that's everything. You know, we'd probably get a lot more done, or at least Tanya would get a lot more done if you would stop shooting fireballs at her back alley. I'm just saying. No need to be a priest to figure that one out. All right, so let's see what we got in here. Uh, looks like a stockpile of armor. More books. I really shouldn't take these books because all it's doing is just weighting me down. But I have a plan. That's right, I have a plan. 
leather strips. We could always use those. We use that to craft. And there's a strong box down here and more leather strips. Okay, well, let's go to the strong box. And we'll try to get it in the blue. There we go. I'll take all of that. Wonderful. Okay. Allie. Still here. I know. I need to give you all the books. Don't ask questions, just take it. What do you want me to carry? The books. Every last one of them. All right, so Dream of Sovngarde, this, 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 uh, Arvel's Journal. Yeah, why not? Why not? Cats of Skyrim. I wonder if that's about Khajiit or actual cats. Hmm. Cultist Order, Declaration of War. We'll hold on to those. Ghost in the Storm. How to be a leader. I already read that. Letter from a friend. Letter from Jarl Sidgear of Falkreath. That quest is going to help me get our actual house that I want us to have. Uh, manual of Lantern Care, that's for wearable lanterns, which has not been working this entire time. Notes on Lunar Forge, da 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 da. Okay, all of this stuff. Oh wait, I can learn all of these, I think. Hmm. Well, hell, I was carrying all these spells all this time and didn't do anything with it. All right. There we go. Lead on. Will do. <clears throat> okay. So what do we have in here? This appears to be some sort of bedroom, and look at that. There's another chest. Man, it's almost like they knew we were coming. All their best valuables just waiting for us to steal. What is this tribunal mask? No clue. Might be worth money. Gonna take it anyway. All right. Uh, I don't see anything else of any value up in here. I do, Gita. It's called looting stuff. That is what I've got. That is better to do. All right. Let's see what we've got over here. wheat? Eh, why not? Never know. I might want to make an ale or something. Grab this. Grab this. A lot of these books are repeats. There's only so many books in Skyrim. So when you pick up books, chances are it's probably something you've already read. But like I said, you can put them in a bookshelf and it'll make the bookshelf look cool. All right, anything over here? Aha, potion of healing, plentiful stamina, and deer pelt. I'll take that. Ikita, I'm probably going to give you all of our supplies, but not just yet. Ooh, dwarven arrow and a dwarven bow. Even better. I wonder if this is any better than what I've got. Let's find out. All right, so weapons. Dwarven Bow, Damage 13. Hunting Bow Superior. Actually, Hunting Bow Exquisite is what I'm using currently. Or what I should be using. We'll go ahead and unfavorite that one. 21 points magic damage, damage of 18. So it's actually better than a Dwarven Bow. Okay. Alright, girls. I think we've cleaned out this side. Let's head to the other side. Uh, let's go ahead and save, too, just in case somebody decides they want to kill us. And down the stairs we go, and I have a funny feeling we're going to get attacked. Yep, sure enough. There's one down there. Grab him. Grab him. Good shot, Gita. I'll try and hold him off. 
Okay, all right, enough with the fireballs. Sheesh, are you okay, Tanya? Look at that, you got damaged. All right, we'll heal you up. You're welcome, anytime, at least you're grateful. Can't say the same for certain other sisters of yours. All right, what do we have over here? Requires key. We don't have a key. Okay, so I guess that means we're going this way. Oh, wait, but what is this? Oh, I've got to level up. We'll need to do that momentarily. Let me first open this. Nice. Lock picking increased. I love it. I love it. All right. So we've got a whole bunch of cheese. We're going to take all the cheese. Elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. Uh, Amulet of Talos. Ah, uh, I'm carrying too much to run. Ah, uh, it would figure. Okay, well, there's only one thing for it. Tanya? Oh, Tanya? Allie, can you get out the way, please? Thank you. Allie, out of the way. Thank you. Ugh, now Gita's in the way. Seriously, girls? Okay, Tanya, I have a problem, and you are my designated pack mule. Do you accept the job? I've got your back. I know you do. What Let do me you give you this. All right, what I would like for you to carry... Oh, you're already carrying dragon scales. Sheesh. Um, hmm, that's a very good question. What do I want you to carry? I don't want to give you armor, because you're going to try and wear it, even if it's not something you can really wear. So let's give you maybe all of this. And <laughs> I want to give you the rest of the dragon scales, but that's probably not going to be worth it. So we'll give you all this ore that we got. Don't worry, I'll take it back eventually. Malachite ore. Never actually heard of malachite or I mean I know what malachite is in real life. But yeah, in Skyrim, I don't think it's something I really use. Okay, I think she's just about full. I hope you are not overburdened. You lead. I'll follow. Always, dear. Always. Alright, uh, did we get this guy? We did not. We did now. Okay. Girls, we have in front of us spider webs. I don't know who the hell invited Gwen Stefani, but I'm not in the mood for spider webs today. They say Falion of Morthal has done Shut up with a Falion of Morthal. Oh, jumping spider! That's no bueno! They jump and they blow up? Please kill those things. Holy crap. Okay, well, that is not good. That is not good at all. Strong dislike. I don't like spiders to begin with, but when they jump at you and blow up... Yeah, no. Pass. Hard pass. Well, at least this one's kind of just standing still, but I don't like him either. I don't like any of these. None of it, baby. None of it. What's over here? Nothing. Okay, well, this was a dead end. Sorry, Tanya. Don't go down there. It's a waste of time. Why did we even come down here? I wonder. All right, let's go back up. So either way, we still need a key to get past that door. Because the lock cannot be picked. Did we see a key in here? I don't recall there being one. Just doing my little jumperoo here. That's now empty. 
Allie, why are you always in a doorway? What is with you in doorways in this episode? Sheesh. I still don't think we can get through here. No, we cannot. Okay. Well, crap. I don't know where to go. And I know this episode's starting to get a little longer. I will do so, Tanya. I will totally forget that you even said anything. Alright, this is where we came in from. Hmm. Maybe we need to go in through the other side? I think so. Alright, well, I don't know about you all folks, but uh, this is taking a lot longer than I wanted. So, I'm thinking what we should do is take a quick breather, and then when we come back in the next episode, we'll see if we can hop in here. Actually, I should make sure this door isn't locked, first of all. Requires key. Seriously? Well, that's just madness. Somewhere along the line, we missed a key. Alright, girls. You know what? Let's hang out here. I'll do the level up thing, because I need to do that anyway. Might as well get some stamina. It's been a while. And what skill do I want? I suppose I could probably make my one-handed a little bit better. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. So now, when I hit people with my sword, it'll be a little bit stronger. Alright, but that will do it for right now, because obviously I'm going to need to figure out what is going on with this key or lack thereof. So let's save, and we're going to call it done. So thank you as always for watching. This has been Bell Geode. I've been playing Skyrim VR. And these are the girls. There's Allie closest to me. There is Gita just behind her. And there is Tanya way in the back, the Shrike sisters. All right, so if you enjoyed what you've seen, please feel free to give me a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And when we come back, we'll see if we can find this key and figure out the rest of the secrets to this place. Until then, ciao.